Hello, boys and girls. I hope you all had a wonderful break and are ready to roll right back into learning because we are learning about something new in math this week. We are going to be learning all about telling time. But first, in order to do that, we need to know the parts of the clock. So we are going to be going over parts of the clock today. Let's think. Why is telling time so important? Why in the world do we need to know how to read clocks and tell time? Well, there's several reasons why. Time tells us when we go to school. Time tells us when to wake up. Time tells us when to go to recess. And time also tells us when to go to lunch. Now think to yourself, what else does time tell us? Yes, time tells us so many different things. So it's very important to know how to read clocks and tell the time. Now let's start with the minute hand and the hour hand. The minute hand is always the longest hand and it tells the minute. The hour hand is always the shorter hand and it tells the hour. To help you remember that, there's a song you can sing to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So I'm going to sing this song to you and I want you to either follow along with me or you can sing it along with me. I'm a smaller hour hand, short and stout. I tell the hour and give a shout. I'm a longer minute hand, big and tall. I tell the minute and that is all. So remember the hour hand is short and stout and it tells the hour. The Minute hand is big and tall and it tells the minute. And remember, to help you remember that, you can sing this little song to I'm a Little Teapot. So there are two different kinds of clocks, analog and digital. This is an analog clock. There are three parts to an analog clock the hour hand, the minute hand, and the face. Remember the hour hand is short and stout. It tells the hour. The minute hand is big and tall. It tells the minute. And the entire surface of the clock is called the face. So there are three parts to an analog clock. Hour hand, minute hand, and the face. Now pause the video and think to yourself, where do you see these kinds of clocks? You can see these clocks in several different places. You can see them in restaurants, in different businesses, and even your school classrooms. The second type of clock we are learning about is digital clocks. The digital clocks have the hour listed first and the minute second. So remember the hour comes first and the minutes are second. So this digital clock reads 1230. 12 is the hour and then 30 are the minutes. You can find digital clocks in several different places. In your bedroom on an alarm clock, in your kitchen on a microwave, on your watch, and even on your phone or iPad. So again, we learned about two different types of clocks, analog and digital. For your independent work on Seesaw, you are going to fill in the missing parts and the time on an analog clock. So these empty boxes should have the numbers 1 through 12 in them. So you're going to drag and drop the correct numbers to the correct boxes. And then you are going to place the hour hand and the minute hand and point them to whatever number you choose. So you're going to take the hour hand and point it to any number and then the minute hand and point it to any number. So you are going to fill in this analog clock with the correct time and then place the hour hand and the minute hand and point them to any number. All right. Have a good day, boys and girls.